Hi everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about bullet compressor wheels. The difference between bullet and cast. Well, let's start off. It's quite simple, it's obvious. A bullet compressor wheel is nice and shiny and it's obviously made from a bullet material. That's where the name comes from, bullet. But when do you use a bullet versus a cast wheel? Is bullet better than cast? Uh, does cast have any benefits over bullet? And when would you use a bullet and I'm talking about an OEM application, a stock standard turbocharger, no upgrades, no larger compressor, size for size, dimensional, identical compressors. First of all, bullet compressor wheels are machined from solid and they are manufactured from a forged material which is obviously stronger, more dense and heavier than a cast compressor wheel. So the benefits lie in the rotational speeds, higher rotational speeds with a bullet compressor wheel as opposed to a cast compressor wheel. So let's say for example you have a turbocharger that has failed, you want to rebuild it and you have a choice to replace a cast compressor, OEM, original wheel, versus a bullet, OEM, original wheel, which one would you choose? Now the question leads on to what are you doing with the turbo, what are you boosting, is it a performance? Uh, type application, yes, still, sta still staying with the original size compressor, or are you actually running this in a stock standard format? Let's go into this. If you have got a standard vehicle and you are running software and you are not boosting excessively high, in other words, you're not boosting more than about two and a half, two point six bar boost gauge pressure, or three and a half, three point six bar absolute if you're at the coast then it is advisable to go for a bullet compressor because at those speeds, the cyclic fatigue limits of a cast compressor wheel will not handle those centrifugal forces for long and you'll end up having a burst. If you are running a software setup on a vehicle with a standard compressor wheel um, and you are running low to mid to moderate boost levels, anything under 2 bar gauge pressure, it is an absolute waste of time to run a bullet compressor purely because of the fact that it weighs more and you will be introducing lag. Let me show you. Here we have two compressor wheels, identical in dimensions. They come off a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, inducer 36.8, inducer 36.74, so 0.06 of a mil difference. That's inside of a tolerance, there should be 52 at the back. 52.04, 52.07, right, so cast compressor wheel onto a scale, 31 grams, bullet compressor wheel, identical wheel, 35, 36, 35 grams, almost 15% heavier, this will generate lag or create lag because of its weight as opposed to the cast wheel. If it's a low to medium boost level, stick with a cast wheel, it's better. If you're running massively high boost, go to a bullet. Let's compare an industrial application. This is off an OM501 engine, it's a Mercedes-Benz engine, and the original turbo is a Borg Warner. Here is a cast compressor wheel, here is a bullet. Dimensional, exact size for size. Inducer, exducer, tapite, etc. Let's have a look and see what they weigh. Cast compressor wheel weighs 167, 166 grams. Bullet, 176. You're talking about a plus minus 10% weight difference. So, yes, the bullet will last longer at higher boost pressures and faster rotating speeds than the cast compressor wheel, but are you running your turbo there? If you are, go bullet. If you're not, stick to cost. You will have lag, less lag. Choice is yours. Hope it's been informative. Please tune in for the next video. Click on subscribe. See you next time.